27-year-old Parker Schnabel is on an all-out gold blitz. In the Yukon, he's attempting to mine more ground than ever before. And 300 miles west in Alaska, he's going to open a new claim that holds the key to his mining future. To help him survive his toughest season yet, Parker's called in an old friend. So Parker has asked me to come over all the way from Australia to help him with his new Alaskan operation, which is not quite ready to go yet. So in the meantime, he needs me to come over and help him here on the Indian River on his Yukon claim. Yeah, I feel like a little bit of a fish out of water just because I'm not used to this style of mining or this style of gold. So this is going to be a huge learning curve for me. I think Tyre will do fine. Now, the biggest thing is just having some comfort with the people that are here to work and give everything they've got. And we've got that in the crew, and Tyler's that way, so she'll fit in. Tyler just threw me straight in the deep end. I cannot believe I survived that week. Tyler Mani has flown from Australia to help on the Schnabel crew. And over the past week, she's had a crash course in rock truck operating. I'm feeling so much more confident. I did not think I was going to make it at the start of the week but I feel like I'm finally getting it. With his crew stretched, attempting to mine out 90 acres before his water license expires at the end of the season, Parker needs recruits who can multitask. I'm just getting a little too sore for this right now. Even veteran gold room expert Chris Dumit is back in a loader. Hey, you know, we got Tyler here now. It looks like she's got a really good handle on the truck. So I may just see if she's ready to step up to a loader. Hey there, young lady. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You got the rock truck figured out, eh? Got my head wrapped around it. Yeah. It took me a couple of days, but I'm feeling confident in it now. Good, good. Yep. Well, you ready to take the next step then, huh? Yes, I am. Do you mind giving me a quick rundown? Yeah. All righty. Yep. Drop the arm. This is the hydraulics. Yep. Okay. Left, right. Here's your forward and reverse. Oh, uh, OK. Just take a buzz around. Don't overthink it. OK, I'll try and keep calm. I'm a bit nervous. You know, you let them make mistakes. That's how they learn. You just hope nobody gets hurt. Never driven a load like this before, but it's not too different. Over here. We're over here. <laughs> and then I remember I'm using these bloody hydraulics. OK, Tyler, why don't you uh, go grab a load of pay, and we'll walk you up that ramp. Make sure that you can do that comfortably. That's going to be the scary part. The thing I need to make sure I nail is getting a full bucket, because that's very embarrassing if I don't do that. Go wide and line up straight. Hell. That is a steep ramp. Um, you're going to start out looking over the top of the bucket, and then you're going to start looking under the bucket, so you have to raise it as you go. I'm just going to take this so slow. Oh my this is steep. If I roll this loader, oh my A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Well done, young lady. All right, so I'll keep going, and you're going to head back to the gold room? Yeah, I'm going to run down there, and uh, if you get in a pickle, call. Don't, don't try to push through it, OK? OK, I will. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks, kiddo. I'm nervous. I don't feel super comfortable at the moment. Parker's flown me out from Australia to help, and this is what they need help with right now. So even if I'm nervous, I just got to get over it and get on with it. And hopefully, I don't no. That doesn't look right. There's a build up in the pre wash. Tyson, do you have a copy? Tyson? Hey, there's a huge build up in the pre wash. I don't know what to do. I'll get it. What happened? 
happens is big rocks like these slip through our grizzly bars and they plug up the pre-wash. At the airstrip, Big Red shaker deck is shut down after a pileup in the pre-wash. Big Red's pre-wash is so small, it takes a couple of those for a jam up to happen like that. So something the guy has to keep an eye on. The pileup is small, so Tyson can simply leave the pre-wash jets running to flush out the blockage. With the dirt cleared, Tyson fires up the shaker deck. Here we go! Tyler did a really good job of catching the pre-wash plugging up. We have a matter of seconds until the pre-wash is pretty much buried, Big Red's buried, and didn't even have to break out a shovel. Good save, Tyler. It definitely saved the day. That's what we need to do around here, have eyes everywhere. Good job. All right, Chris, how do we do? I'm gonna pour it, you call it out, okay? Okay, cool. The keyhole cut has averaged 175 ounces a week. 70, 170, 185, 200, oh my 200 exactly. Well, that's because that's only part of it. Here is part B. That looks heavy, doom it. Still hold it's on heavy. pretty tight. 100, 200, 210, 240, 248.95. 448.95. Yeah. A season's best, worth over $800,000. He gives us a season of 974.6, almost 1,000 ounces. Not bad, almost doubling our season total in a week. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see what'll happen once we get two plants going, if this is what we're pulling in with one. We obviously hit some good ground. Indian River is hot and cold, right? Yeah, we may have hit a hot spot. Let's hope it holds out. All righty, catch you Keep later. Going, you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya. Yeah, we smashed it and the gold proves that, so very good all round. Yeah, it's really nice to have Tyler here. You know, she's like a good friend and she takes her jobs very seriously and I trust her a lot. I'm Parker Schnabel and you're watching Discovery Australia. Hit subscribe now to not miss out on any Gold Rush content.